Welcome everybody to Paisan Course for Kids. Mohammed, Karim, and Ahmed are speaking from T Square Technical Talking Channel. And this is our second video, part 2 Calculator. In this video, I will show to you basic Python operators. Karim will introduce a variable definition and numerical variables, examples, and finally, Ahmed will explain the concept behind Python namespace and scope. Let's get started! Last video, we looked at the reasons why programming is important and why Python. We went over our setup using Colab and also made our first program. Hello world! Zombies have returned! This code is written in Google Colab Notebook. You will find the code link in the video description section below to review and run the code by yourself. Python has different categories of operators. Today, I will exercise to you arithmetic, comparison, bitwise, and last but not least, logical operators. Arithmetic operator. Python gives you the capability to all ma mathematical operations like me. Here, I open to you basic OS. You can find the same if you work on Windows OS. Track. It adds, subtracts, lights, and divides the same way. Also gives you the answer immediately without writing any code. Likewise, Python performs the co complex calculation. If you want to add, you will use a plus sign in between the two numbers, and you don't need to define two variable. You don't need to define any variable, and you don't need to use a print function. You don't need to do all this stuff. You just press and then run the code and then you're done and the answer will show just below the code line that you just see in this case we did 80 plus 57 and that's why we got 137 below it now in the subtraction it's basically the same thing but but just like with a subtraction sign which is basically like a dash and then you will see this answer but this time we did a negative number on multiplying it looks like a little star. You be, you just need to put two numbers, star in between, and then you'll get the multiplication answer below. Divide, you'll also get the decimal and do the answer. On floor division, it may sound like only just normal division. It does not even need any div remainder. It just will get like how many groups that you can do. As you see on the divide, uh, it gets, if you see, 214 divided by 7, it will get you the exact number 30.5714. Continue on, and but but then on the floor division, it gives you a complete integer no, no decimals, no remainders. But the opposite will be modulus, so modulus only gives you remainder, no whole numbers, no nothing. Because that, if you want to know why the remainder is 4, because that. 214 divided by 7 will equal 30 and 4 remainder. If you want to power numbers, you, uh, you will just use double star. You will use the exponent operator that as you see up there, the power operator is double star. After doing, and then you will get the answer of 7 squared 2, which you know that it will be 49. And it will get the same thing below. On this one, this thing is a square root because it's we give the power to 0 0.5. That's how it's square rooted. You'll see the answer 9. Comparison operators, it's simply a question with the answer of true or false. Greater than. First, we have to start, start it by step by step. 10 times 10, which is 100. And the other one, 9 times 11 equal 99. So, so obviously, the first number is bigger than the second number. So... So it must be true. The less than is the opposite. The less than it wants the, the the other number, the second number greater than the first number, or the first number is less than the second number. So eight plus eight equals sixteen. So now sixteen is bigger than twelve. So this less than will be a false. The equal to, which means like is basically like equal it must it will be true if both numbers are the same amount now in this case we have 8 times 6 equal 48 on this one you have to put two equal sign not just one and and then 
and 4 times 12 equal 48, so it must be true. Not equal. The not equal is basically like saying that this is not equal to this. The not equal to is supposed it, if it will be true if both numbers are different than each other. This one will be 6 plus 6 is, I mean 3 plus 3 equals 6. Is that, and 2 times 3 is 6. This will be a false because those two are the same numbers. Greater than or equal to. The first number is 2 to the power of 3 and that equal 8. And now the second number is 8. This will be true or false. It will be true because it's equal. Less than or equal to is the opposite. 9 is a first number and 12 times 2 is an other number, which is 24. This will be true because that 9 is less than 24. Or 24 is bigger than 9. Bitwise operations are simple operations on logic bit. Bit is a small box of true or false value. On the bitwise operators, we will see AND and OR. And the other ones are, are complicated and that's why we're not even going to tell them here. AND. All inputs have to be true in order to make the result to be true. Otherwise, the, the result will be false. Just imagine that you had 1 million trues and you had 1 false. What will you think the answer will be? It will be false because that all inputs have to be true in order to result to be true. Otherwise, the result will be false. False and false, the answer will be false. True and false, the answer will be false. False and true will be the answer of false. True and true, the answer will be true. And you see the chart that says AND, right? It will show you every single combination that we can do and the result of them. It could only get once if you put both of them one which is true in the binary system true is one and the and false is zero the second operator is or and you will see all of its combinations and its results in each of those combinations it'll get zero if both are zero besides that if any input is one the answer will be one false or false and the answer will be false as you see the the OR sign is basically a vertical line. True or false, the answer will be false or true, the answer will be true. True or true, the answer will be true. Going back to those two lines, as you see, we use 0B before the numbers. So what is that 0B? 0B small or 0B capital? In the beginning of zeros and ones, number is a prefix and prefix mean before we use 0b prefix to show numbers or work with numbers in binary i think of binary as other shape of the same thing like one liter of water and one kilogram of water both of them re represent the same amount of water in different units okay here we will do the same and or operations on a group of bits instead of one as before the first number includes of two bits zero and one while the other number is one and zero let's see that on the table the first number is zero and one the the second number is one and zero we will do them in separate columns one and zero the answer is zero zero and one is zero so the total answer is 0, 0. When we apply that here, the answer only shows 0. The answer here made in integer form. To see it in binary form, we need to use bin function. Let's try it here. As you see, the answer in binary form 0, B, 0. No worry if you don't understand that because we will see that again when we talk about uh, functions in other episode we will do the same thing with or we will do one or zero the answer will be one zero or one the answer will be one so as you see the the answer in binary should be one and one it shows it right here but if we will see integer it will only be three because three three is the integer form of one and one in binary finally logical operators Again, AND, 
and R. But this time, instead of applying them on bits, we will use them on condition. Like to pass exam, I have to satisfy two condition going to school and study. The new thing here is not. Let's try and with two conditions. The, the fifth condition is true. The second condition is true. The and the answer will be true. Or this time we will show you two conditions. The first one is true and the second one is false. The answer should be true. Not. Now the new thing here is not. We will use it to invert the situation from true, true to false or from false to true so so not true will be the opposite of true which is false 